What if I said there was a knife that is illegal in the Netherlands? What if I said it was a machete? And what if I said it was in my pocket? Meet the most requested knife for, from around one year back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meet the Gerber Double Down. Foldable machete in 428 shield shit steel. <laughs> 428 C Martin, that yeah. does not sound good. No, you know, uh, I'm gonna start this video with saying that I'm actually skeptical about this whole package because oh, really? I don't like the curve in the blade. It doesn't really feel that strong to me, and I don't like 428C. So, oh, then it has to prove itself in this video. And I'm very happy that you are making this video if it doesn't feel that strong and it might damage and kill you. But you're the one editing this video on time. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually better than I expected because I expected not to cut this paper. Okay, how much do you think it's gonna get on the sharpness scale? Oh, there is already a slight edge problem here. You can really? actually see it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a very, very big one. But yeah. we didn't use this, did we? We did not, Mikey. We did not. But let's see the sharpness. Because it is okay sharp. 106, what the Wait, hell? Maybe, that, maybe that was too fast. This yeah, is, it is really sharp. sharp, Martin. <laughs> well, okay, that's a big surprise, actually. That is, I would give that, yeah, well, an 8 or a 9 out of 10 for our sharpness. Yeah, that that's stupidly that's, sharp. That is crazy. I really did not expect that. Okay, so this is the first, this is the first surprise then. Let's keep the surprises coming. This video is sponsored by Tools for Gents and Midgard Metha. Today is a great day, my friends. Finally a sponsor with some real knives. <laughs> that is a roof folder. Midgard Messer, I'm handmade in Germany. <laughs> Small workshop, big blades with names all inspired by old Norse mythology. Meet the Jotun, the perfect EDC for something like Martin. A real man. The knife maker also invents new locks you don't find anywhere else. Meet the Midgard carbine rifle knife. Three different locks to make it pretty much a fixed blade. One, frame lock. Two, bolt action rifle lock, anyone? Three, a screwable pin. Bam! Fixed blade. Midgard Massa. Just look at the size of this knife. Get yours now at hoosforchance.com. So I'm a little bit skeptical that this knife will survive the hard testing. So we're gonna start off with some more easy stuff, like feather sticking. Oh yeah, very nice. It's a little bit wet. Some people say that I'm kind of a drag. Must be a friendly attack on the smile I once had. I keep on giving money. It, it is yeah, um, the handle is terrible to hold <laughs> for feather sticking, but it is surprisingly good at feather sticking. Really? Because, probably because it's so sharp. But it is, look at it, it even makes like the, the nice curls. It looks really good. It doesn't want to bite too deep into the wood because I think it has kind of a big, uh, big angle. Big angle, yeah. It's a really nice feather sticker. That is so bizarre, man. How bizarre! How bizarre! Let's start off with some light batoning. Wait, Matt Martin, wait, stop, wait, ho. You want to hit that piece of wood and maybe break the knife at the start of the video. Hit the piece of wood. Maybe yeah. break the knife at the start of the video. Impressive stuff, man. Yeah, Mickey, that actually felt really easy to do. Okay, like, so wait. It's, it's a thin knife, not that much weight, but this is not the piece, of course. But it didn't feel like the knife would, was on the edge of breaking or whatever. I have to say that looks really practical, like something you could actually use for making kindling. Yeah. The thing that I would conclude of the this far, it's a fun knife. It's a fun knife. It's it's a knife you can buy to do fun stuff with. It's not a serious knife. It's but a fun it's knife. not a toy, children. 
Mm. Mm. The back is li literally better. <laughs> oh! Uh, a two out of ten. Whoa. But with the because of the bag, maybe a three out of ten. This is terrible. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, you, yeah. You got a flame. You got fire. Let it burn you. Yeah. So it is possible. It is definitely possible, but in a wet condition, I would not want to do this. So you want to sharpen the spine before yeah. you go out. Alrighty then. Oh, it lost a lot of edge. And that was just from some very light batoning and f some uh, two feather sticks. Two feather sticks. We have been having a discussion for about half an hour that he wants to carve a face in the pumpkin. And look how epic! for <laughs> <laughs> dollar. Yeah, Mickey just doesn't want to give you guys the pleasure of me trying to carve a pumpkin. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to yeah, see no, me? I just do, do you like seeing First me? of all, I hate Halloween because I'm always too scared. And That's funny because all, I remember two years ago you were dressed up like a clown in a Halloween video with yeah, Nico on your face. I don't, I've never watched it back because otherwise you get nightmares for myself. Evening, my little brothers. Oh. Whoa, it's great for this because you have a lot of oh, blade length, God. Mickey. I want to <laughs> actually chop this pumpkin, but no, that's not allowed because Martha's dad still needs it for some cooking. No, I, it's just my father's Halloween trinket. I hate Halloween! <laughs> oh, guys, I'm getting more angry by the second. Martha wants to use this side as it's a face. Halloween, it's supposed to look disgusting. No, but, no, but, I mean, this looks like your face. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's got... No, Martin, it's got mold or whatever it's, it is. It looks ugly as it is. This yeah. is not how you make a Halloween face. Happy Halloween! -y. Nice, one eye. That is niet <laughs> te geloven. What are those eyes, Martin? Oh my god. Uh, give, him some, it, give him teeth, give him teeth. I cannot stand it anymore. <laughs> okay, wait, how do I give it teeth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh fun, this is fun. A nice nine out of 10 for a pumpkin stabbing. <laughs> yeah. You're really good at this. Do you yeah. have experience? Yeah, my mom was a pumpkin. <laughs> Hey! No, I never want to see a pumpkin ever again. Look, Mickey, this was epic. Oh, oh no! There's a fox on this terrain, and he keeps stealing trash from the. Uh, yeah, there's a kind of a bungalow park next to this whole forest, and then he brings it. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> this is what he does. <laughs> Look at it! This is what he does, the bastard! Where I live, you pay for every trash, full trash can that you throw away, yeah? Yeah. So I pay for the trash that this fox brings in! <laughs> <laughs> Last time, Mark had to clean up full, fully shitted diapers. <laughs> no! No, it happened again! Martin! What? Another fully, <laughs> another fully shit in diaper. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Grab out an, a real machete and see how that chops compared to this yeah, one. Okay, of course, a real machete. Same piece of, food. of course, same machete will be uh, like four times as long, but. Yeah, yeah, obviously, but we're gonna grab one that's around the same size, yeah? So the total length of the knife, which is important for chopping, yeah. it's almost the same. Yeah. And this one actually looks very similar to the Scrama, which was almost or maybe even a better chopper than the Caldonante. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is very thick and that's a yeah, night this is, and day difference. This is one slice, this whole piece. So of course, it's a night and day difference between a room chopping knife or machete and this folding machete. But look at the difference. This is so much lighter and you can fold it that really inside your pocket. Yeah, you and can it, can it, can it can chop. It can chop. I mean, but how much folding knives do you have that can chop? Almost none. Almost none. Maybe the cold, the cold steel. The Espada XL. Yeah, but that won't chop as, as good as this no. one. So, now I want to see if it can chop. Is it sturdy enough to withstand the chopping? Suddenly I just got an American accent because of this, this glass. <laughs> but my, my, my English, but English, but my English well. didn't improve at all. It's strange. <laughs> yeah. Well, son, give it your all. Thanks, son. Whoa. How can I be your son if you're my son? <laughs> While chopping, the lock came undone because the lock, you have to squeeze the handle and pop it on the top of the handle. But if you are chopping, you will squeeze that handle and this can, can come out pretty easily. Yeah, but you are a beast with beast power. Yeah, it's not instantly dangerous because it also has like a secondary lock, but it is something that needs to be said. I have to say, I'm not very impressed with how hard it can chop. But for a uh, folding knife, it's better than most folding knives, let me tell you that. Yeah, that is, that is true. Right? Again, it might be an unfair comparison, but just give it a few whacks with the, the axial chopper. Yeah, I mean, look, look at that. <laughs> it is by no means a replacement for a chopper. No. By no means at all. I'm just gonna say that that was maybe. I'm, I'm just gonna say that that maybe was. What is it? Eight times as fast or something? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it is more like cool that a chopper can chop. It's always cool that a chopper can chop, Maggie. Oh no, I said it wrong. Also, my English is. This knife is doing surprisingly well, but this is going to be a very hard piece, I think, because this has a big knot, it has curves in it. Shall we try it? Not good, Martin, is it? Not good, no. You know what, Martin? I'm actually surprised at how, well, not how good it becomes, but how much it, it can take. I mean, you're yeah. hitting that knife hard. Yeah. did it. So, and this is a piece of wood that you would never, ever baton with no. a knife, actually, because, yeah, why would you? You know what? I'm really impressed up to this part. Yeah, right. me too. I mean, I'm not impressed with the steel, but everything else on this knife is impressing me. So we have it. The bones of my enemies. The number one knife beater. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> what? Part of the bone came in my nose. <laughs> there are some chips here. But it's not too bad. You can easily sharpen it out. Yeah, it is so it is so small you almost cannot see it on camera, but another pointless but fun destruction test. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. And for the people who think no knife can handle this, yes, we've had knives handle this. Uh, both chipped and rolled, but e even so, not that bad again. Oh, but see, see how little damage it has. So, yeah, and on this side, with the naked eye, you can see that this rolled towards that side. You know what, Marta? I'm just gonna put my neck out there and focus. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that is a very big roll. But still, you would be able to put that on something like a work sharp and get it out within five minutes because it's also, we don't have to test it in this video, but this thing is very easy to sharpen. We ended it all with testing out the ultimate toughness of the handle by recklessly throwing it against a board for maximum impact. The results? Well, 
we're very positive actually. Okay, but the conclusion is the knife absolutely has nothing. So let me try and fold it back, see if there, if there's anything wrong with this mechanism. And also here, there is absolutely nothing readily or nice. Okay. Uh, then I think it's after the conclusion. Yeah, dude. We're staan, jongeman. Mickey, the Gerber was impressive, but not as impressive as its last week of our giveaway. Merk, hit it. Pumpkin. We're actually giving away the Falcon Even NL5 COS, thanks to DBK. We are giving away the just released TRC This Is Freedom in convex, thanks to Tools for Gents. We are giving away a Becker BK72, thanks to Knives and Tools. We are giving away not one, but two MKM Maximos and LMAX. We are giving away a Spydergo Paramilitary 3 in Sprint Run, Rex 45, thanks to Lamnia. Shall we also give this one away? So for all the people who <laughs> would like this, join the Royal Knife Club on our Patreon. And a Super Ladder Cannibal, thanks to Kuga. Whoa. I contacted Lomnia. Yeah. And I said, we'd like to review that knife. And Lomnia yeah. actually wanted to send this to us for the review for free. Oh, yeah. And I said, no, no, no. Let us pay for it, the cost, because I think we will be very skeptical about it and I don't think we will like it. And here we stand, again, blown away by a knife that we thought we wouldn't like. Are we blown away? Yeah, because I thought this knife would suck. I generally thought this knife would suck. And you yeah, know what? I'm blown away as well. Mickey, if you are looking Can for... Can I kick the pumpkin? No! It's my father's oh, pumpkin! I really want to That's kick my the pumpkin. No, it's my father's pumpkin. No, if you don't get it, I'm going to kick it. I'm, re I'm really literally going to kick the pumpkin. <laughs> okay, so what I said is I can actually recommend this knife for people who are not really like knife people, but want to take a knife camping that is able to make the, tin, the, the kindling, is able to get rid of some bushes, and is easy and light to pack. I think this knife fits those bills, and if you don't care about edge retention that much, it is not a bad buy. I don't really see what the use is of this knife, because it is not really a great chopper. If you go camping and you pack it like this, it's actually quite easy to but pack think, a kind of large blade. I don't get why I would want a large blade like this, because I would probably take rather take a small knife and a saw with me, than a I knife agree. like this, which does not really do anything very yeah. well and I, I would say like the only downside for this idea is that it hasn't got a sharp spine yeah it's a fun toy it's knives are not toys but this is a fun toy for grown-ups it's daddy's toy <laughs> hey i hope you like this video and I, I hope you love my pumpkin like subscribe I... <laughs> hey like, like subscribe uh, say uh, something for the algorithm in the comments and uh, check out our <laughs> <laughs> Instagram. Tell us if you would if you would buy this knife. And tell us what you thought about my pumpkin. Bye.